Hey, hi, hello, welcome back, or welcome to. Today, we're going to be checking out a game called Befriended Curse. This game also popped up on my Steam Recommended the other day, and it immediately caught my eye because it seemed really cool. It seems witchy, witchcrafty, kind of paranormal, so I'm all about it. And from what I have seen, the reviews are really, really good. So, I'm going to keep it short, simple, sweet. Without further ado, welcome. To befriended curse as a final year psychology student you made the decision to start seeking your first professional job during the summer break coming across a job ad with the title i'm having trouble communicating with my daughter she hasn't been herself lately as we live quite far from any major cities i'd like to invite someone to spend the summer time with us and help us understand each other better you embrace the challenge after a lengthy journey you finally arrived at your destination They see me rolling. We are way out in the boonies. I'm Ganata Gadoblin. I'm a gnome. And you've been gnomed. Already gnoming me at the start, though. That's wild. We arrived pretty late. That is a very large cat. Come here. Can I pet the kitty? I can't pet the cat. Oh, there's the same cat. God, isn't that a very large cat, though? Oh. What did I just step on? And they're probably, like, all in bed. Oh, dear God. Maybe not. Don't mind if I do. Hello, is anyone home? It does not really look like it. Pretty nice home though. He searched through all your shit. Oh, both doors opened. Wait, dude, where's my car? <laughs> uh, hello. Oh god, we have lights that we have to turn on. Oh no. Entry 4, May 7, 1983. Whispers are coming from the woods. We tried with Jackick to find their source, but with no, without success. Jackick or Jacek, maybe that's the name of the cat. Or the dog. The dog cat. Oh, my bad. Can't tell what that is a picture of. Something inside of a window. This is a cozy little area.
Entry 1, March 12th, 1983. Mia has been behaving strangely lately. She locks herself in a room. She doesn't speak, doesn't eat. Hi, thank you for taking on this role and assisting my daughter, Mia. I've stepped out briefly, but will return soon. Please feel at ease and take the time to acquaint yourself with Mia. P.S. In one of the drawers in your upstairs bedroom, you'll find a document that requires your signature. It's a form. It's a formality necessary. It's a formality necessary for securing a partial refund to cover therapy expenses. Kindly sign it. Sign it, if you will. Cheers. Oh, we get a candy bar. Sign the document that was mentioned in the note. A candy bar and some milk. What if I don't like milk? Well... X, 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 1, X. I'm assuming some kind of code then that we're going to have to do something or another with. Mia, are you here? Hello, cat. <laughs> I just got an achievement. You met the true owner of this house. True. Cat's rule. Oh. That was an aggressive ass opening. I can't say I'm quite a fan of how uh, how I opened that door, I'm not gonna lie. Another random picture. As the undersigned, I affirm my willingness to aid Mia. Her challenges pose no difficulty to me. I am equipped to manage them and assume responsibility. In return for this service, I am to receive compensation. I guess we'll sign it. What choice do we have? Dang, they even gave us some clothes. I will say this game is dark as hell, though. Yeah, we open doors so aggressively. Hey, yo. Um, I'll take that key, but I don't know if I just disrupted something now. That's kind of scary. We're uh, also going to go ahead and leave all the lights on. That we uh, come into contact with. Oh God. Special edition. Okay, so the last two are one and nine of whatever that code is. Entry 11, someone was outside. They appear outside the window, but every time we go out with Jack, we can't find any more. Mia, are you here? Where the hell 
what she be at, even. Oh, entry three. Recently, we've learned a lot what happened in this area in the Middle Ages. We believe that it's somehow connected to what's happening to Mia. We're still doing more research. The little cat toys. Oh. In 1486, arguably the most inf the most famous handbook for which hunters was published, the Malus Malif Maleficarium, authored by Hendrich Kramer and Jacob Spring Springer. Along with this work came the establishment of an entire prosecutional, investigative, and medical system, as it was believed that s physicians could distinguish between cases of devilry and uh, somatic defects. Confessions were considered the primary evidence, merely pointing out subsequent sus suspects by a convicted individual known as naming. Was sufficient for accusation, testimonies from children were particularly valued, as they were considered innocent and an untainted wit untainted untainted witnesses, even if they confused to wish confess to witchcraft themselves. Oh my god, I am dyslexic. That was rough as hell, Reed. I apologize. Oh my. I blame public school. It didn't ever teach me how to read. It did. bread you're gonna be mad at me for just eating all their food <laughs> can I drink all the milk Bread. Quite cold tonight. I'd better light the fireplace. Find some firewood to light the fireplace. I assume it would be outside, right? Somewhere. There's a good gnome. See, I don't know about you, but I would keep a little, like, thing here of firewood right next to the fireplace. Hi, kid. Don't you be a fucking whispering to me right now. It's too early in the day for that shit. You settle down. Is it on the side of the house, maybe? Never look into the dark forest. Never a good idea. There it is. three pieces oh, we're going back in find a lighter to light the fireplace lighter lighter on the wall that's pretty sick
Nice cozy little fire going. Oh. Blank four blank one nine. Knock knock. Blank four blank one nine. Remember that. Oh, someone is in my car. We'll go stop him. Hey, wait, don't drive away. That's my car. Dude, that's my car. go after it. oh where's me at <laughs> there's a little kid I just know that the cat will protect me. Can I like call the police and report that my car was stolen or, oh. That's a whole ass moose. Oh fuck, hi. That wasn't a moose. <laughs> What are you doing, little kid? Never mind. Oh, where'd the cat go? Shit. I'm good. I am chill. You know, there's a lot of stars that I uh, just got put up. These definitely weren't all there. Mia, where are you at? Oh, lovely. Why would you do that? Why would you shut that shit behind me up? Why the fuck would you? Andrew 62. I don't know what to do anymore. The curse cannot be lifted. My Mia only sometimes remembers who she really is. Okay, so blank 4519. Blank 4519. Well, ain't that a bitch. Hi, my name is Mia. Although my mom calls me Curse Mia ever since it happened. I'm glad you got rid of the car. And decided to stay with me. I'm so happy that you're here. P.S. This is not my cat. Um... Mia. No.
Nope. Fuck that shit. Never mind, I'm a man. Yo, stop. Stop it, Nosferatu. Okay, you can settle down. No running in the house. <laughs> no running in the house. I'm not playing. What is this? Dresser. What dresser? Oh, the one in my room. This is sick, though. I do really like this art. I won't lie to you. Alright, let's go look in the dresser. Uh, Mia. Is you good, homie? To, oh, dresser. Armchair. Oh, God. This is fallen. We still haven't been in that one room upstairs. Maybe that's... So we did get a key for something. Now that painting is gone. Is this the armchair? Maybe. Oh, maybe. Oh. I had to hide this message so the lady from the forest wouldn't find it. Be careful with her. She's the reason all the bad things happened. My mom says it's because of that witch. I am the way I am. And that because of her dad. That because of her uh, dad left. still need to find one more number. Oh. I think I should look for her. Look for me. Brother, she's not going to be outside. That's a whole ass fucking moose. Go back in. The fuck you doing? Mm. 
there's two me's. Dude, moose don't fuck around either. Moose and Where you at, Mia? Oh. Assuming me is uh, dead. This is lit up now. Well, shit. Stop cursing me. Oh, shit. I want to go back inside. Yeah, hide in the house. I think that's a good idea. Need to lock the main and garden doors quickly. <laughs> Run, bitch. I think I locked them right. No, I'm no expert, but I think it probably got in. What the fuck? Okay, that was so weird and so cool. I don't know if that's exactly how it was intending me to... Oh, fuck, hi. I don't know if that's exactly how it was intending me to do that interaction, but... That was cool. A voodoo doll. Is this my voodoo, or... There's some behind me, huh? Well, shit. I don't know where to go. We should go turn on all the lights again, maybe. I 
Heather, old kid. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. All the lights are gone now. Shit. It's just the wind. Throughout the Middle Ages, many innocent individuals were burned at the stake. However, legend has it that in 1492, a young woman began screaming in an unknown language and casting curses while being burned. Suddenly, everyone gathered around and started hearing terrifying whispers. The woman, partially burned, emerged from the blazing pyre, and everyone fled. According to the legend, in the following weeks, the residents were affected by, afflicted by a strange epidemic. They began to go insane, and their skin turned to ashen, as if they were being... If they, as if they had been burned. Not much else is known, because the Inquisition deemed eyewitnesses of the event who claimed that the witch had cursed them as heretics and sentenced them accordingly. It's a witch. Oh. Another doll. I'm not the biggest fan of the bathroom, I'm be real. Why, hello there. Fancy seeing you here. There's another doll. Missing anything? I really don't think so. What else can I do with all the, uh, or what can I do with the dolls, I should say? It's wild to me there's not a candle over there.
got three dolls. I don't know what to do with either of them. The only place I haven't been is in there. Do I need to burn them? Dude, relax. Can't go outside or anything. You know, I have no clue where to go. the fuck uh excuse me when the fuck was this here uh okay kind of wish I uh was able to come oh Come down here with uh, the lights on, maybe. Entry 29, April 12th, 1984. Mia is no longer entirely human. Her body looks as if she was, if it was burned. She says it hurts every day, but she's alive. We have three dolls. Oh. Settle down. a key a bone key yeah I also have that in my basement you know Maybe that unlocks this upstairs then. At least I'm gonna hope. Yep. Well, shit. We got a Waluigi board. another thing oh lord jesus as you can see my mom is trying everything just to help me lift and lift the curse she's even spoken with spirits at least that's what she believes although it's my dad who sacrificed the most i miss him 
Did you like kill your dad? Entry 33. Every time Mia steps a few feet away from the house, she loses consciousness. We don't take her anywhere because we fear she'll die. So it's a curse connected to the house. Oh god. There's a lock. Oh shit. Okay, so this is one nine. We really can just do this based off a of process of elimination now. I don't know if that's what you're meant to do, but Entry ninety one, there is hope. The curse can be lifted. And by playing the Waluigi board, we can lift the curse. Not gonna look behind me. Oh. Um, I fancy seeing you here. Rude as hell for you to take on all of our lighting, though. O N E W U S H O N E one W H W I O oh, one wish. One wish. What is your one wish? Should you say goodbye? One wish, huh? What is this one wish? Take me there, Mia. Even though I cannot see you. Oh. Yeah, I assume you're gonna go downstairs. Is your one wish to kill me? Mom said I shouldn't ask you about this in a poem, so I wrote one. Said I should ask you about this in a poem. I see your fervor fervent wish to flee. Alas, I comprehend it, yet grieve. One wish, fulfill, and soon you'll see. All shall unravel clear, believe. Gather crimson blooms, trail the woods. To where my father's grave abides. Lay flowers there, as kindness should. My curse forbids, my soul abides. Will you fulfill this one wish of mine? Will you take flowers to my dad's grave? Find red flowers. I don't know where I'm going to find red flowers. Oh, Lord Jesus. Wait, actually. There is a painting upstairs that's red flowers. But I don't know if it means actual flowers or... Okay, yeah.
cameras out there. Why can't I go out below? flashlight first I got you we're only gonna take two that's disrespectful Follow the path. You know. Oh God. I really don't like walking in dark forest, you know. Be real with you. Father's grave is close to your house. As dawn breaks and shadows flee, the curse transfers set both souls free. The soul transfers. That shit's gonna transfer to me. I already know it. We're doing a seance right now of some sort. Summoning. I've cleaned up and tidied it. there's any more oh to lift the curse from one soul two must make a pledge one giving life and the other the curse they'll hedge there's flowers and vases on the grave I don't feel well Yep, now we're cursed. Fucking knew it. My skin. I feel like it's burning. What's happening to me? As we start to fade away. their cat to lift a curse from one soul two must make a pledge one giving life the other the curse they'll hedge a written vow to aid desire fulfilled 
one minute spent at night in this in the curse bound house chilled. As dawn breaks and shadows flee, the curse transfers set both souls free. A soul given, a soul embraced in the dance of fate. Curses intertwine like night and day, intertwine like fate. The witch bears witness as time flows like verse. When the magic ritual fulfills, the curse dissipates in the hand's gentle traverse. Now we are the cursed one. You probably guessed I agreed to lift Mia's curse and Mia returned to being a normal girl. Her mom just left with her. Congratulations on your courage and sacrifice, young man. I agreed to lift the curse only if I received two souls in exchange for one. For the first, I demanded a sacrifice of life. Mia's father committed suicide. I accepted this sacrifice. However, the second person must take on the curse. There's a written contract on the table which you signed yourself. You sealed it by spending the night in the same house as the cursed person and fulfilling one of their wishes. As the undersigned state, as the undersigned, I affirmed, I affirm my willingness to aid Mia. Challenges pose no difficulty to me. I am equipped to manage them and assume responsibility. In return for the service, I am to receive compensation. I accept this sacrifice. From now on, your soul is mine. You become cursed. You will never die, but your body will slowly turn into ashes and dust. You will experience slowly throughout eternity what I expect, what I experienced when I was burned at the stake as a young witch in 1492. Well, ain't that a bitch? So that was befriended curse. Um. I did enjoy that quite a lot, actually. It was kind of your basic walking sim, but there was quite a bit of research done into, like, witchcraft. Granted, it was kind of your, your basic research, but it was still pretty cool. I liked the use of the, uh, the stars and whatnot hanging from the ceiling. They act as, like, a protection, I'm pretty sure, or a curse. Some kind of hex of some sort. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. And if you enjoy Lil Lil Me or this style of content, please consider subscribing. I have a never-ending backlog of horror games that you're going to be able to view right here on this channel. And if you have any other horror suggestions, let me know down in the comments because I am always open to expanding this never-ending backlog. Until next time, bye.